Angels are a part of our popular culture. We see them everywhere. They are in books and movies. We see them on posters and we hear about them in music. But what does the Bible say about angels? Who are they and what is their purpose? The actual number of angels is unknown, but there are three that are named in the scriptures. In this video, we take a look at Michael, Gabriel, and the most famous of the fallen angels, Lucifer. We'll start with Gabriel, who is high-ranked amongst Jewish and Christian writers, the angel who helped Daniel understand his visions and helped him in his prophecies. He is most famous for his visit to Virgin Mary, where he announced the birth of Jesus. He is also known for foretelling the birth of John the Baptist. And then there is Michael, who is my favorite angel because he is bold and strong. And he seems to be the angel in which God uses to enforce his will. In Israel, he is a heavenly champion of the people, according to the book of Daniel. It is written that he opposed the devil over the body of Moses. The devil, also known as Satan and Lucifer, was cast from heaven for opposing God. In the book of Isaiah, he is cast down to hell, to the corners of the pit. The devil Lucifer can be hard to understand in biblical scripture because he takes the shape of different forms. Other than being the angel who fell from heaven, he first appears in the book of Genesis. And he appears as a serpent where he attempts Eve to eat the forbidden fruit. In Revelation, he takes the form of a seven-headed dragon to bring about the end of the world along with the Antichrist and the seven-headed beast. There is some conflict between the angel Michael and the devil in biblical scripture. Satan loses a battle to Michael and is once again cast down to the earth. It is popular belief that Michael is the weapon that God used to cast Lucifer from heaven. And it may be Michael who binds him in chains and places him into the pit after the battle of Armageddon. Satan also appears in the book of Job, where he bets God that Job would lose his faith if he was stricken with misfortune. And in the New Testament, he tempted Jesus, but as always, he failed in his attempt. Angels are very fascinating when learning about the Bible. There are some beautiful stories in the Old Testament, and they are mentioned as well in the New Testament. So why not open up that Bible and learn more about them? Mm -hmm. 